Mark Sinclair, known professionally as Vin Diesel, is an American actor and film producer. One of the world's highest-grossing actors, he is best known for portraying Dominic Toretto in the Fast and Furious franchise. Wikipedia Born, July 18, 1967, age 57 years, Alameda County, California, United States. Upcoming movie, Fast X, Part 2. Height, 1.82 meters. Children, Hania Riley Sinclair. Parents, Irving Vincent, Delora Vincent. Siblings, Paul Vincent, Samantha Vincent, Tim Vincent. Vin Diesel was born Mark Sinclair in Alameda County, California, along with his fraternal twin brother, Paul Vincent. He was raised by his astrologer, psychologist mother, Delora Sherleen Sinclair, and adoptive father, Irving H. Vincent, an acting instructor and theater manager, in an artist housing project in New York City's Greenwich Village. He never knew his biological father. His mother is white, with English, German, Scottish, and Irish ancestry, and his adoptive father is African-American. Referring to his biological father's background, Diesel has said that he, himself is, definitely a person of color. His first break in acting happened by chance, when at the age of seven he and his friends broke into a theater to vandalize it. A woman stopped them and offered them each a script and twenty dollars, on the condition that they would attend every day after school. From there, Vin's fledgling career progressed from the New York Repertory Company run by his father, to the off-off Broadway circuit. At age 17 and already sporting a well-honed physique, he became a bouncer at some of New York's highest clubs to earn himself some extra cash. It was at this time that he changed his name to Vin Diesel. Following high school, Vin enrolled as an English major at Hunter College, but dropped out after three years to go to Hollywood to further his acting career. Being an experienced theater actor did not make any impression in Hollywood and after a year of struggling to make his mark, he returned to New York. His mother then gave him a book called Feature Films at Used Car Prices by Rick Schmidt. The book showed him that he could take control of his career and make his own movies. He wrote a short film based on his own experiences as an actor called Multifacial 1995, which was shot in less than three days at a cost of $3,000. Multifacial 1995 was eventually accepted for the 1995 Cannes Film Festival, where it got a tumultuous reception. Afterwards, Vin returned to Los Angeles and raised almost $50,000 through telemarketing to fund the making of his first feature, Strays, 1997. Six months after shooting, the film was accepted for the 1997 Sundance Film Festival, and although it received a good reception, it did not sell as well as hoped. Yet again Vin returned disappointed to New York, only to receive a dream phone call. Steven Spielberg was impressed by Multifacial, 1995 and wanted to meet Vin, leading him to be cast in Saving Private Ryan, 1998. Multifacial, 1995, earned Vin more work, when the director of The Iron Giant, 1999, saw it and decided to cast Vin in the title role. From there, Vin's career steadily grew, with him securing his first lead role, as Richard B. Riddick in the C5 film Pitch Black, 2000. The role has earned him a legion of devoted fans, and the public recognition he deserves. Since then, he has headlined a series of blockbusters, often but not only centered on fast-driving motor vehicles, The Fast and the Furious, 2001, XXX, 2002, The Pacifier, 2005, Fast and Furious, 2009, Fast Five, 2011, Fast and Furious 6, 2013, and Furious 7, 2015. He also voiced Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy, 2014, and starred in the lower-budgeted courtroom drama Find Me Guilty, 2006, the latter directed by Sidney Lumet. Family, children, Pauline, Vincent Sinclair, Hania Riley Sinclair, parents, Delora Sherleen, Sinclair, Irving Vincent, Delora Vincent, relatives, Paul Vincent, sibling, Samantha Vincent, sibling, Quain, cousin, trademarks, shaves his head, muscular physique, deep, gravelly, powerful voice, big, lanky boots, trivia, wrote a three-page letter to director Steven Spielberg expressing his admiration for his work, particularly Schindler's List, 1993. Spielberg was impressed with the heartfelt prose, 
prompting him to invite Diesel into the star-studded cast of Saving Private Ryan, 1998. Vin revealed in several interviews that he has remained extremely close to friend in The Fast and the Furious, 2001, co-star Michelle Rodriguez. His children even refer to her as their aunt. As a fraternal twin brother, Paul Vincent, who is a film editor, traded a cameo in The Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift, 2006, for the rights to the character Riddick from Pitch Black, 2000, and The Chronicles of Riddick, 2004, was considered to voice the role of Ultron in Avengers, Age of Ultron, 2015, before James Spader was cast. His third child, a daughter, is named Pauline after late best friend and co-star Paul Walker. Mother's Paloma Jimenez is an admitted fan of Dungeons and & Dragons and, according to an interview on Late Night with Conan O'Brien, 1993, had then played it for 24 years. Revolution Studios wanted him for the title role in Hellboy, 2004. But director Guillermo del Toro thought that Ron Perlman was the perfect choice for the role and would not direct the movie if he was not cast. He was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 7000 Hollywood BLVD on August 26, 2013. He and his girlfriend, Paloma Jimenez, welcomed their first child, daughter Hania Riley, on April 2, 2008. Once worked as a telemarketer, selling light bulbs, is the cousin of rapper, producer Quaim, the boy genius, Quaim says if you watch his old videos, you'll see Vin in a few of them, wrote an original screenplay titled Dorman, based on his experiences as a bouncer, as a follow-up to Strays, 1997, his directorial debut. However, his acting career exploded and his plans to direct the film fell by the wayside. The concept eventually developed into the Fox Digital Entertainment web series The Ropes, 2011, which Diesel created and produced started the video game company Tiggin Studios in 2002. It in turn worked on the movie-based game The Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay, 2004. Tiggin is working on more next-gen games, as well as having a hand in all diesel-based games. During his teens, he performed breakdancing in an instructional video on the subject, credits the book, feature filmmaking at used car prices, by Rick Schmidt as the one resource above all upon which he built his career. This book, according to Diesel, gave him the tools, knowledge, and most importantly, the inspiration to develop his short film, Multifacial, 1995, which he wrote, produced, directed and starred in. His second child, a boy named Vincent Sinclair Diesel, was born in 2010. Mother's Paloma Jimenez. Quotes. Well, I've worked out for years. For a long time it was my only sense of gratification. I would get into fights with other bouncers, when a guy was already on the floor and the other guys thought it was all right to jump up in the air and land on the guy's head. On why he didn't do the Fast and the Furious sequel, I was being offered three franchises at the same time, Pitch Black, 2000, XXX, 2002, and the Fast and the Furious, 2001, and I had to choose. I couldn't do all three, he has since appeared in sequels to all three franchises. On the XXX, 2002, poster and what it means for his career, this isn't a poster. This is a declaration of war on his mysterious ethnicity. I am definitely a person of color. On the planned Chronicles of Riddick trilogy, we gave the script to the studio. I bought three leather binders. One said C1, one said C2 and one said C3. They all had locks on them, and we only gave the key to C1 to the studio. In the next film, Riddick is going to go to the Enderverse. Riddick will act with new elementals, not air elementals, as Judy Dent's character is, but fire and water. It'll come full circle in C3 when he must return to Furia, on the Chronicles of Riddick, 2004. The concept behind switching genres was to create a film that you could continue exploring. In the ending of this movie, it's not just something that says we're opening it up so we can tell another story, it's very specific, a very daring, ending because it's left open-ended. From the very very beginning, when everyone thought it was crazy, I was thinking of the Chronicles of Riddick, 2004, as a trilogy. That would start with the movie you saw, and Pitch Black, 2000, would act as a prequel that introduced you to the character, so in simple terms, in Chronicles to we venture to the Enderverse. We knew we could get away with a PG-13 on the first one, but once you go to the Enderverse it's rated R, because it's a place where war is the norm and there is constant, constant battling. Then on Chronicles 3 we will see Riddick return to Furia, to deal with the homeland. I was a bouncer for nine years, it was all I knew how to do, and my training was not to talk loosely. That's still my thought process, 
shut your mouth, watch your back, and keep working, till your ass falls off. With age, you get to a place where you don't want to knock people out. You just want to give people a hug. When people view me, they don't necessarily see a black man. For that reason, a film like Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, 1967, or Driving Miss Daisy, 1989, could never work with me in it. I am truly multiracial. I never knew my biological father. I've always had less information than I would have liked to have had. All I know from my mother is that I have connections to many different cultures, on multifacial, 1995, that film is my tribute to my background. The man who raised me is black. Culturally, he made me who I am. He was a theater director, so he also guided me artistically. I act because it's the one time I'm sure of my identity. There's no doubt. It's on paper. We're in a gaming society now, so people are conditioned to work a little bit for their story. People like to be rewarded for whatever equity they put into your universe. On the Fast and Furious and Riddick franchises, my whole approach to making these movies and to creating these sagas is saying to the studio, the audience is paying attention to the nuances and all the story points that lead up to this film. The more you acknowledge that, the better movie you have. On Multifacial, 1995, I guess I've always looked past the exterior and the ambiguity that my existence represents. When I was in my mother's stomach, it was still illegal in parts of America for people of color and white people to procreate. Everyone had known me just as a bouncer in New York because I wasn't able to get any work. There was something too ambiguous about the way I look that would prevent me from ever getting a star. My mom used to say that I became a fighter and a scrapper and a tough guy to protect, whom I am at my core. This exterior means that I am actually one of the few people who can show love without coming across as soft. Salaries. Fast X, 2023. 20 million dollars including producer fee furious 7 2015 47 million dollars including producer fee fast 5 2011 15 million dollars including producer fee the chronicles of riddick 2004 11 million five hundred thousand dollars a man apart 2003 2 million five hundred thousand dollars xxx 2002 10 million dollars the fast and the furious 2001, $2 million. Saving Private Ryan, $1,998, $100,000.